So last time we talked about how to make the robot move with the drive steering block. Uh, so one thing that robots are very good at is doing things repetitively, uh, in, especially in situations where uh, humans might not want to do that action. Uh, but the first step of learning how to make robots do things like that is to understand what loops are. So loops are a programming trick that we use to make a computer or a robot do the same thing over and over and over again. So in our programming environment, uh, if we click down in the orange section here, that's the flow control, so it's controlling the flow of information in the brick. The second one here is the loop, so if I click and drag it up, uh, I will have a loop, loop block. And what this does is, anything that I put in the middle of the loop, loop block it will do it over and over and over again for infinity so I will give an example if I tell the robot I want to do a slight left turn for uh, let's give it a short I'll do a half a rotation at 50% power so I can write that like this, and if I run it, it will do a slight left turn for a half a rotation, and then a slight left turn for half a rotation, and then a half, slight left turn for half a rotation, etc. The other way I could write that same program would be like this. And I would put a block each time I wanted it to do it. But even then, it won't go forever, it'll only go the number of times that I put the block down. So if I want it to do it forever, I've got to put it inside of a loop. So let's take a look at what this is going to do. So I'm going to download it to the robot and flip over to the Virtual Robotics Toolkit and see what it does. Now I think we're going to fall off the table, ah, there we go. But uh, it did exactly what we told it to do, let's run it again. Each of those is a half rotation to the left. Let's run it again. So by putting things in loops, we can run the same action over and over and over again. And in fact, you can put multiple actions inside of a loop. So for instance, maybe instead of going, um, instead of turning, we're gonna go straight, and then we're gonna make a left turn sharp left turn. So it will go straight and then make a left turn and straight and make a left turn. Let's make this a small rotation as well. Alright, so I'm going to have the robot try that out. Alright, so now I am making a, uh, a shape here, having the robot go straight and turn and straight and turn and straight and turn forever. So experiment with that. See what you can make with a loop like this and uh, how far you can get towards your goal of knocking the objects down once you have this tool in your repertoire. Uh, try it out.